That's what we're doing, okay? So isn't that interesting, you guys? Now let's move on to secret number three. How do I 10 times my reminders and follow up open rates and click through rates without any coding? Always without any coding. The important question is this, how do I lower my bounce rate, unsubscribe rate, and increase open rate and click-through rates? To me, the most important thing are these two, open rate and click-through rate. Okay, the rest, the other stuff, but not so important to me. Let's take a look across the social channels. Facebook has a 12% uh, open rate. Email, 29%, Twitter, 20%. Messenger has a 98%. Now, if you understand how powerful this information is, if you're always just on um, email and you have always been receiving, the, let's just say that the standard average 29%, I don't even get 29% nowadays. Okay, if you are able to get 29%, wonderful. But what happens if you're on another platform, for instance, Messenger, without doing anything really, really different, just by being on a different platform, you increase that, that, that success rate, that open rate to 98%. Okay, isn't that powerful? And imagine if you're using both 29% on one side, 98% on the other side, that increases your communication way, way more. Okay, messenger platform has always been compared with email marketing. Let's take a look at the numbers. Email has an average of about 10 to 40% open rate in general. Uh, messenger has 80 to 100% open rate. Email has 0 0.5 to 2.5 percent click-through rate that means click-through rate means when they get an email there's a link in the email i actually go and click on the email that brings me to wherever the email wants me to go okay that's a click-through rate uh, messenger has a 55 percent to 75 percent click-through rate now imagine if you can take your communication uh, open rate from 10 percent to 80 percent it would wouldn't that make a huge difference in your conversion don't you think so? Right? So, this is my get response open rate. You can just take a look at this, right? 699, 6.99%, 9.73%, 7 something, 12%, 11%, 19%, 19%, 19%, the 50%, I don't count because it's a very small sample rate. It's only two. 12%, 11%, right? And yes, you can see my rate is way less than the 29%. And uh, if you look at the click-through rate, I have 0. something percent, 4.85 percent, 4.23 percent, 0 percent like that. It's, it's terrible. Okay, it's really terrible. So let's take a look at my results with a chatbot. Open rate, 100 percent, 100 percent, 100 percent. Click-through rate, 29 percent, 73, 95, 60, 75 percent click-through rate. Right? Imagine if you can even get things like this in your business you're basically going to 10 times your, your results, all right? So wrapping up secrets number three. Three reasons why most people should never ever suffer spam emails. Because basically, marketing emails, people always look at marketing emails as spam. Okay, Let, let's just face it. We are just too busy to, to waste follow-up efforts. Okay, when we continue to follow up and follow up and follow up, but they are not opening our emails, it's wasted effort. Want to build a respectful relationship now. Uh, why people call email spams? Because there hasn't been any respect in that relationship anymore. It used to be, but not anymore. Uh, messenger platform using the messenger itself is different because Facebook puts in certain rules and regulations to protect the interests of the user. Okay, that means we have to learn certain principles and certain guidelines to remain respectful to the audience. That is very good for the industry. That is very good for us as a marketer. If not, marketers are known to always screw things up. We take an, a, a, a brand new platform and it screw it up, like for instance, email. When it, when it first start, got started, it was very efficient. I remember uh, 10 over years ago when I was running a newsletter campaigns on my clients, I used to have 70 over percent open rate. And you, and you just look at my open rate right now. Okay, it's really terrible. So everything has changed. And to enable more effective communication, if they're not opening the emails, basically your communication is ineffective. 